according to the news that was published by Punch newspaper online, it was reported that Captain Jamil Abubakar, who happens to be the son of a former Inspector General of Police, Mohammed Abubakar, has reacted to the killing of blasphemers in the country. It was made known that Jamil, who is a son in law to Alaji Aliko Danguti, an experienced pilot and the president of JMD Foundation, a non profit organization, said in a tweet he made yesterday night that all religions in the world frown as blasphemy and also advise people to always respect their to respect other people's religions in the tweet he said that in islam they respect the inji tara zabu because they were never taught to disrespect any of the book or any of the prophet from adam to muhammad and the quran talking further he said that the right punishment for blasphemy is dead even in christianity says who <laughs> you see the people that you think that they ought to know better no he didn't condemn the okay yeah, of course and i said the punishment for blasphemy is dead so it's it is in order what happened to the bura is in order so there's no big deal you see that all of them forget even this one that i even coming out to say eh, yes eh, eh, we condemn it they just just to save their face but we can see that 90 95 percent of them they just believe they are okay with what happened. Did you even hear Erufai coming out to say anything? No, he won't say anything. No. I think Abubakar told us that uh, he was not the one that has uh, his age to go and put, that, put out that tweet over there on Twitter. Now, what is your stand? Okay, we agreed that your your so-called man go and, went to go and put it out there to condemn the attack. Now, what is your stand now? He can't say anything. Who is fooling you? You see this one that they say is a pilot. Even this one says, if, if it is possible to even know who will even the pilot you when you they enter plane, you go even they say all these kind of people cannot because you can imagine their their mindsets. So Dangote in law is a senseless man. Hmm. You expect him to be reasonable and sensible because he is Dangote's in law. Okay, please can you tell what is blasphemy in what Deborah said or posted? Maybe you can clear our doubts about Islam. And secondly, could you tell us how many people Christians as murdered as a result of blasphemy in Nigeria because he's telling us that uh, even in Christian, you know, all of them they will just like Buari. Oh my goodness, these guys say, eh? unfortunately, we have a southern leaders, majority of them, they are, they are, the, the greed will not allow them to reason. If you have integrity, no matter what, what is money in the first place? That is why you see that these guys are taking advantage of them. Somebody is coming, they will not be putting some kind of a uh, deceit. Telling us that, uh, oh, even in Christian in Christendom or whatever, that is not even allowed. Buari say, oh, you cannot insult a uh, uh, Muhammad. You can't even insult Jesus Christ. Who told you? Who told you Jesus said they cannot insult him? Who told you Jesus said they cannot insult him? They can insult him anytime, any day. Insult him. Mm -hmm. He will tell you, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. But at some point, you, you come to the realization of what you have done that's what that's all so don't come and be telling us that even christianity how many people have been killed that christians have killed because of a uh, somebody blasphemed hmm. the only blasphemy that we know the bible says that the sin that cannot be forgiven is the sin against the holy spirit but it didn't tell you to go and to go and to go and kill somebody is the one that will fight for himself hmm. the guy is not serious calling himself a Dangote son in law. Even in Christianity, who who kill who in Christianity? Christian God is a living God who can fight for himself. Christians don't worship weak, dumb, and whatever. God that cannot fight for himself is not is not true. So every supporters of the killing of this young lady, they are cursed by the creator of life and their length of living shall be shortened. Muhammad is not what you think he is. Well, let me lecture your dumbness and intellectual stupidity. Judaism is different from Christianity. The Leviticus that the killer religious by God quoted from was given to the Israelites who were then practicing Judaism. When Christ our Lord Jesus Christ came, he gave we the Christians, there is Christ-like people, forgiveness and love. These are two things lacking in your religion. So don't compare Islam with Christianity because we serve a different God. The one who fights for himself and the one his followers fight for. 
And he said, I will fight for you. I will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Vengeance is of God. Mm -mm. That's what he said. So don't come and be telling us that even in Christianity, you want to try to bring it. Says, so who are you telling that? Even in Christianity, how many people in this country, in the history of this country, or in the con in the history of the world that Christians, just like somebody said, don't mix Judaism with Christianity. In the history of Nigeria, how many people have you seen? Or in the world, how many people have you seen? Saying that say, oh Christians, oh, they say they are fighting somebody in Sotek with Jesus, somebody say, for what? So which where you see how they can how they can lie. Koro Koro lies is telling us even in Christianity that the, the this sin is a is death. This the, the, the consequence of a blasphemy is death. Well, you spoke well, at least that man may learn. Of course, if he's going to learn, if he does not learn, at least his people should be able to learn. Please buy some sense for yourself. This is this one, Amoni Misrud, illiterate of Holy Bible injunction. In Christianity, we know they kill, we know they fight uh, God. All power belongs to him. We know they fight for him. We know they fight for him. You fast for 30 days, no change in heart. Even during fasting, you fight in your marketplaces. <laughs> Just a few weeks after you fasting, you kill a promising young gay. Which God are you people serving? What is written in that your so called Quran? There's this uh, controversy between the southern uh, Muslims and the northern Muslims. No, 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 that's that's what they did. It's not it's not in the Quran and in Quran. And they will say, Oh, forget it, all they say Yoruba Muslims, all those are better Muslims. That's what they, that's how they do. No wonder the nation is progressively backward. Progressively backward. Imagine gibberish from a purported elite from the north with his mindset. With this kind of mindset, mindset, Afghanistan beckons. Southern Nigeria, let us agree to go our own way. We are far apart from these people in every sphere of life. I blame who made us one in the first place. I blame them. Who made us one? I blame them. But with all these uh, leaders, all these other leaders, <clears throat> we, are, we are in for trouble. All those uh, southern leaders, all those other leaders, <laughs> we didn't even allow the separation. They will not allow the separation. Huh? They, won't, they won't allow it. You would think even the so-called educated and exposed ones amongst them will be any different. But they all have the same brain. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. This is the problem of Nigeria. Can you see another Muslim fanatics with relationships to the Dangote family? Now, tomorrow, because of Dangote, he will be made the president of the fraudulent nation called Nigeria. And he will come to accomplish the Buhari Islamization agenda. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.